Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're just going to have a quick little experiment. Uh, so we're looking at the Antweight saw robot, uh, overhead saw robot that I've built in the past. And in the last video I upgraded the thing so it has a much larger brushless motor in it and it also has a much larger saw blade with some nice big thick cutting teeth. Now. In the comments to that video, someone mentioned that maybe the big thick cutting teeth were my problem and that the bogging down that I was getting was because the teeth are too big and getting too much bite. So I might be, uh, well, it might be an improvement to change and go for smaller teeth. So what I've got here is a smaller toothed blade at exactly the same size. I also have a smaller tooth blade at a touch under the same size. And what I figured is we can do a couple of quick tests. So I'm gonna test with this setup as kind of a benchmark. Then I wanna test with the smaller teeth. But then I also wanna go back and test two different levels of brushless motor. So we've got a 2814 in here at the moment, but I'm gonna try an 1806 and a 13, 1306? Yes, 1306. So we're gonna try all three of these with the smaller teeth blade because if I can get away with having this one of the two smaller motors in here, then I'm gonna have a little bit of weight left over so I can actually like put some top armor on or something. Uh, so let's uh, get started. I'm gonna, like I said, we'll do four tests and we'll see how we go. I also need to actually attach the front plate, uh, the front wedge. I've also cut some speed holes in my front wedge so that the whole thing actually makes weight now, which is a good thing. So I was supposed to test the next disc next, or the next saw blade next, but uh, we have a bigger problem. We have a crack in the motor. So if I push the saw blade arm down, you might be able to see, we've got a crack in where the servo mounts. So the servo can actually wobble around a little bit now. If I pull this back up again. Yeah, uh, it's not, whoa, there you go. It's really broken now. So the servo itself is actually broken. Uh, that's not good. And I'm glad I caught that now so that I didn't have to catch this during an event. Uh, we're gonna swap this guy out and we're also gonna mount it up better to all of this next time so that it doesn't keep breaking like this. So we're kind of at the end of the road here. I had planned on testing the little guy as well, but the test with the 1806 conclusively proved that uh, that little motor is not going to work because the 1806 started to bog down and you can see it out the back here. Uh, we only got kind of small slices out of this thing. It wasn't great. Uh, in terms of depth of cut, whereas the big motor, the whatever this is, 28 something, 2814, we're getting nice big deep slices with that. Uh, so this motor definitely has a lot more power than the 1806 and a lot more torque to be able to make larger gashes in things. So we have to use this motor, I think. 
Uh, but moving down to the smaller spiky saw, this guy helped immensely because the 1806 didn't bog down at any point with that disc on. Uh, so that was beautiful. That was absolutely perfect. And that's what I wanted to see. And that was your guys' suggestion. You guys suggested that the small teeth would do exactly that. And they have done that magnificently. So that's what we're going to be running uh, in Micro Blaze for this competition is going to be the small tooth saw blade on the 2814 motor. And I think I have enough weight to do that and now also put a top plate on. So that's spectacular. The other thing that might happen between now and then is I might get rid of this HDPE scoop. I might replace it with a really, really thin ABS scoop and then some HDPE wings out the side because the HDPE scoop is just a little bit bouncy and flexy. So it doesn't actually make great contact with the ground, which could be an issue in a fight. So replacing that is probably a good option, uh, but that's something I will do off camera, but it's just a heads up that it might not look like that uh, when we get into the actual fight step. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and learnt something like I did. Small teeth on a saw blade, that's the way to go. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.